Pickle, pickle man, pickle Rick. That's what people say. Dick and Morty. Yeah. Coachella. Sex and drugs. There you go. That's what it is. At least when I was there. I can do an ollie. Yeah, yeah I don't. <laughs> I don't I because don't. I did. One of the things you have to learn to be a good skateboarder is how to fall, and I never learned how to fall correctly. So, especially now, I would die on a skateboard. Those dogs just remind me of hair. Like, there's just shed everywhere. There's I was just, just gonna say hassle. It just yeah. reminds me of just hassle. I love animals, I love dogs, but those dogs just, no. Nah. Extinction Rebellion. I didn't know anything about Extinction Rebellion until yesterday. I'd never even heard of it. Uh, and apparently they're gluing themselves to airplanes and trains and blocking bridges. And uh, I am sympathetic with their goals. I don't know that that's the right way to go about it. I don't know that somebody inconveniencing people just trying to go to work is going to make them change their habits. You could just call it extinction. Yeah. I don't think anyone's for extinction. I mean, yeah. <laughs> those, those money guys are just thinking in the now, not the future. In-N-Out Burger, delicious, staple of California. Sex and drugs. Sex and drugs. Uh, In-N-Out <laughs> yeah. Burger. When I was in high school, people used to get these In-N-Out Burger bumper stickers, and they would cut out the, <laughs> they'd cut out the B and the R, so it would say In-N-Out Urge. Gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you just call it In-N-Out Burger anyway? Like, that nobody said, like, you know, butthole sex burger. Like, that's <laughs> just a, no, In-N-Out's better. Rick and Morty, I never watched it. I know that it's a giant thing, something about a dill pickle, dill, what, I don't know. Dildo. Pickle, pickle man, pickle Rick, that's what people say. Dick and Morty. Yeah. The Descendants remind me of youth, skateboarding, growing up, just being a skate rat. The Warp Tour gigantically uh, you know, helped Blink-182. I think we helped the Warp Tour as well. Uh, it just reminds me of noise from 10.30 in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. Just no escaping the noise. Yeah, we just, we just played uh, uh, one of the final shows on this last tour. Yeah. An institution, absolutely. <laughs>